Hello my friends, this is Joe Shaw with Family Business Tips and today we're going to show you how you can connect your Facebook pages with your websites and so in this particular example I'm going to show you how to do it using WordPress but what you'll see is uh, right here on the right hand side of the page you know I have a great way for people to connect with my brand new Facebook page that I've set up and so um, the the reason you want to be able to do things like this is you know if you're if you're hosting a website you're putting all your content out there and and that's great but you know at the end of the day people want to do business with people they know people they like people they trust and it really helps if you could kind of create a greater community wrapped around all your content as well and, and really in actuality that's who all the content is for and so you know, I came to Panera Bread this morning just enjoying my morning and having a bagel and thought I'd share this information with you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go to Facebook and I've pulled up this brand new Facebook fan page that I've created. And, you know, just kind of as a side note, the reason you want to use a, a Facebook page and not your profile, you know, when you have your personal account on Facebook, you know, Facebook makes a very definite line, you know, between business and what's personal and so like for example um, on your personal account you can only have a maximum of 5,000 friends so if, if you're looking to grow any kind of a business any kind of a, uh, a, a greater community than what you might normally have on a personal basis it's really just a great idea to kind of uh, as soon as you can go over and create a page on Facebook and there's a lot of resources out there just Google that to find that but once you have a page you'll want to get people connecting with you on a personal basis and so the way you do that is you come over here to the edit page button and so you just go to your page and you're gonna edit the page but before I do that I'm just gonna copy this URL up here and I'm gonna click edit page And what it's going to do is going to take me to the right place. So this is where I can edit some different information. But what I'm particularly looking for right now is marketing. This marketing section on the left. And once I go there, in marketing, you're going to see a couple of different options. But one of them is add a like box to your website. And so we're going to go ahead and click on that. And what this is going to do for us, this is going to pull us up basically it'll give us a little area where we can kind of customize how this box is going to show up and so some of the things you'll see here is uh, the Facebook page URL so this is the page we we want people to connect to on Facebook and remember I copied that URL just a moment ago so it would go to my page and so I've got that link right there you can set the width that's how wide in terms of pixels that is if it's you know just look at it when you put it on your site if it's too too wide just narrow this up a little bit just make your best guess and then uh, you can change the colors um, show faces now let me go down and show you that so if we were to show the faces that's these faces down here and you can say you know no don't show my how many faces I have just show my feed for right now and so I like to show the faces I just think it gives a, a warmer more connecting feel to your website and I think that's gonna be good and then show the header is just this thing up here find us on Facebook and so once you've got it all the way you like it you could say hey I don't want to show my stream and I'm just gonna do it just like that once you got it the way you want it you just click get code All right, and this is sort of like almost like when you embed a, a video onto your site or whatever. Um, you're gonna, you don't have to be a programmer to do this. You just click the buttons, tell it the way you want it, click copy, and then you come over to you log into your website. And in this example, we're using WordPress. And of course, if you want to edit the widgets, now widgets are on my WordPress blog. Ed, widgets are the, this area on the right here, and so I'm going to go in there and tell it uh, how I want to set up these widgets and to do that you go to appearance and then widgets uh, within WordPress and you know if you're on a normal WordPress box you know all of those settings are over here on the left on mine they're up here um, because I'm special <laughs> so go to appearance and widgets and that'll bring you to this page and anytime you want to put new um, code into a widget box you just grab a text box you drag it over to where you want it so like, let's say I wanted it right there and then what I would do is I would paste 
and I could put a title or not put a title, but I would paste that code right here in the main box and then save that. Now, I've already got that set up, so I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to delete that widget. But just to be fair, I'm going to show you. So I have a, a title connect with me on my new Facebook page. Here's the code I just did, and I click Save. And that is how you get the Facebook Connect widget right there in your WordPress area. So you can have just really a great way for people to connect with you on Facebook, leave comments, um, and, and actually you know grow to know you and like you. And if you're watching this video, I'd love for you to come by and connect with me on my page and send me a shout out. Say, hey, how are you doing? And uh, ask any questions you want, and I'd be happy to interact with you. So thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.